Hello friends, this is Santo. Today I am going to explain about lookup transformation. Lookup transformation is nothing but some kind of joiner transformation. Mm, this actually do let outer join and this is lookup basically divided in two parts, two types. One is connected lookup and another one is unconnected lookup. For con connected lookup, this lookup transformation is actually connected to the pipeline of the data flow mapping. And for unconnected lookup, the lookup transformation is not connected to the directly not connected to the port to the flow. We call this unconnected lookup from any of the expression in the mapping. So in this video I am going to show you connected lookup and in a next video I will show you how to use unconnected lookup. So for this demonstration I have two tables, one is employee and one is in department which will be acted as source. In employee table there is a column in department ID and in this parent table is department where according for department id according according department name and location is there so in a table we have to populate all the information of the employee here employee name job name and for department number department name and department location this can be done by using lookup transformation but we lookup transformation so just go to mapping designer import those sources go to source analyzer and import source and targets Employee and department. Actually, about that I have uh, I have source and targets and I have deleted those but have not checked out checked checked out those so now after saving those and importing again This is actually showing source and target different target for any child key relationship. This is actually not needed and department table itself is not needed. So in development only we need employee as a source. And save go to target. Input the target dimension. Saving it. Now go to the mapping designer. So create a mapping. <coughs> now drag the source here. So this is my source and this is my target. 
so all these rows all these details will be put to the target so I am connecting those to the target definition now accept this department number now rest of these things should be come from department table so here we will use a connected lookup so create a connected lookup here is the shortcut now this connected lookup definition can be created from target definition from source definition or directly can be directly import from a definition table or database table or set file so i am importing it from my database so this is my lookup transformation and if you go to the properties of the lookup transformation they are they are input port output port lookup port and return port input port means which will be input from from the previous expression and output means which will be go to the next transformation and lookup lookup port means ports which are returned from this lookup tables means this three three ports three columns value will be fetched from database table D department so these three are lookup port and return port is used for unconnected lookup we will show the use of this column in when I, when I explain unconnected lookup now in the property step there we can overwrite query or fill, apply some filter condition here this is the table name so here I am giving the schema name dot table name that is better here lookup case is enabled so what will we what will do lookup transformation it will fetch all the records from the table and create is a cache memory and from that that cache it will fetch the records at, at the time of the, at runtime so this should be enabled for better performance this is policy on multiple mass means if i look up in this table with department id and that department id is present in this table multiple times then what will be written by this lookup transformation first value last value report error any value and in uh, data version it in one more option is there return all value so by default it is used as return any value one means any one of um, one of those values will be returned randomly here it is a connection information means database name it will be change in session level this is the type of the data um, lookup that it, it is a database or flat file tracing level this this for the debugging purpose here there is one lookup cache persisted and dynamic lookup dynamic lookup is lookup cache can be divided into two type static and dynamic static mean before starting the pipeline it's create it's fetched all the records from the lookup tables and we build a cache and for static lookup that cache is never be 
change at the runtime that is static but for dynamics for each and every rows lookup will be replaced lookup cache will be replaced means if where we are inserting data in the target and that target is used as a lookup then we have we, we have to use dynamic lookup in static case in um, divided in two type persistent and non persistent for non persistent when the when the session ends the cache is deleted but for passive persistent cache after the session complete com, uh, successfully run the cache is not deleted cache remain in the server so if that lookup is reusable by another session then there that session no need to create no need to create for that session no need to create cache so default this is static non persistent and here is the condition lookup condition so first we have to add input ports here in your case we shall input department id department number this is decimal this one is true and this is input port This is input, no need to be output port because it is or it already or going out from this port. It is this thing. That was location. Now go to condition, add lookup condition. So here from drop down select the columns which will be equal. You can change the condition also whether equal, greater than, less than, etc. etc. So now Going and type or not same. this input department number and from this lookup take this location and department name and connect it to the target So this is the mapping is completed. Now save it. Now go to workflow manager. Create a workflow for this session for this mapping to run this mapping. So go to workflow and create. Okay. Now create a session. So 
session has been created. Now connect the work phone session. Now go to session properties. Go to mapping tab. And in the connection, provide the connection details. So for our lookup transformation, connection is our system. So from the top down, I have selected this, that. And in the source and target, provide the schema name. Make it normal load. Save it. I will move monitor. Connect this. Now run this workflow. Now it is running. So in this was target. Fourteen rows are selected and fourteen are inserted. So. This is if if we check in the database, it's showing that for employees meet and department number twenty and department name research and location in the Dallas. So this is the basically a simple use of look of transformation. Follow my next video for the unconnected lookup. Thanks for watching.